Well, you might have noticed new construction going on at two of Louisville's public housing complexes. Both projects received tens of millions of taxpayer dollars in efforts to reduce crime and revitalize areas. WLKY's Mark Vanderhoff looks at what taxpayers have been getting for their money. And to see a body in the alley was one of the scariest for me. Jennifer Simmons lives in a subsidized apartment in Liberty Green. She also lived here when it was called Clarksdale and says the difference is night and day. Now we see our walks of life just walking through, passing by. It could be a nice day out. You see people with their pets and it's just really good to see a good environment with someone walking in the street without them getting robbed or any of that stuff. The transformation is courtesy of a HOPE 6 grant born in the 1990s to overhaul aging public housing projects. Louisville's first HOPE 6 redevelopment was Park Duval, a 134-acre community built on the old Cotter and Lang public housing projects. Louisville Metro Police say they've seen a huge drop in crime in both places. It stacks up pretty well with what we would consider a safe neighborhood. Colonel Yvette Gentry worked in Cotter and Lang before it was torn down. I could probably count 15 young men that got murdered. Um, and it's just heartbreaking, really, because you know that they had some potential, but just the environment was just stronger than their potential at that time. WLKY obtained data from the past three years for both Park Duval and Liberty Green. In that time frame, there have been no homicides in Liberty Green and only one in Park Duval back in 2011. Gentry believes much of the old housing project's problems were created by the design of the barrack style apartment buildings. You had all these crannies and buildings that faced, and so, you know, you could ride the perimeter and not see what was going on inside, which kind of created a sort of haven for people that wanted to do criminal activity. So that's why we, you would have a lot of people come from other places to sell drugs there, or to, to commit violence and things, because, I mean, just the design itself was just perfect for crime. Those barracks have been replaced by a mixture of single-family homes, condominiums, and apartments. They're no longer designed around hidden courtyards. Some are market rate, some are subsidized, creating a mix of incomes. Because just around the corner, we have a judge, we have principals to live here. Rodney and Tara Houston said they chose to buy a house in Park Duval to show their children it was possible to live in a safe neighborhood that is predominantly African American. Tara believes the upkeep and maintenance also makes a difference. It makes an impact on what you see. Um, you know, when you wake up and you see trash and you see garbage um, and you expect those children to go to school, you know, and to focus and to excel and to do well um, as the same child who grew up somewhere else who wakes up and they see manicure lawns and things like that. It makes a difference. It makes an impact that we sometimes don't even realize. The Houston's only complaint is that outside retailers and other businesses have been slow to relocate near Park Duval. It took nearly 10 years for a grocery to open, but at Liberty Green, near the bustling Nulu district, neighbors say the facelift has helped. The housing is much nicer looking than the barracks style housing of Clarksdale is and has probably spurred a lot of the development around the neighborhood. Tim Berry, executive director of the Louisville Metro Housing Authority, says everything about the design of the recreated public housing communities is intended to keep criminals away. Everything moves to the front. Front porch is very important. So not only do you have a certain camaraderie that exists between residents, but you got eyes on the street. The latest Hope 6 project in Louisville is here at Shepherd Square, which is keeping its original name. More than 50 residents have moved into these new subsidized apartments, which are still under construction. It is expected to be completed by 2015. Mark Vanderhoff, WLKY News. And while most of the construction was paid for with private loans and tax credits, the three major public housing revitalization efforts each required $20 million in federal grants. There are no plans yet for any of Louisville's other public housing projects, but we're told Park Hill and Beecher Terrace could be uh, on next in line.